Now we were talking about variables in the last part. So we left off with the a short, a small, a very small introduction to variables. Now in this part we'll try to break down what a variable is, how it um how it functions inside a C sharp code and what sort of values can it take, what sort of uh, what it actually does with our programs and our computers. Now variables are the most basic fundamental um, aspect of any programming language so it is also important in C sharp programming now in C sharp programming it ta a variable takes a name a programmer can define a name for a variable and that name all uh, like my name is Nafis so this identifies who I am this identifies the human being so I'm actually a human being but um, people will identify me using my name as Nafis but when it comes to variables it 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 is also same for uh, defining their names so the names that we define for variables are are known as identifiers we don't use names in programming but we use identifiers so we can define our own identifiers for our variables now in c sharp programming variables beside having an identifier will also need to have a data type now data type are important in declaring a variable there is a huge difference between initializing a variable and a declaration both can go in one single statement but both can be um, delayed at a certain point of uh, pr program execution now let's have a look into it into more detail so let's write some code and I'll explain as we go along let's open a new file you don't need to uh, open a new solution because we're not creating or building a new uh, C sharp program or a Windows program, but we'll only need one C sharp empty file. So choose this from your file, new file, and choose the empty file option. Okay, I guess. Yep. Oh, I need to cross this out. I think I got two of them. I don't need all of them. So let's just erase all these comments. We can uh, add them later on, but it's not necessary right now. We are more focused into learning what a variable is. Now, basically, a variable takes the format of uh, like it needs to have a data type this is not literal code I'm just explaining it to you so that you understand now it needs to have a data type and a variable name which we also call um, an identifier so I'm not going to use that uh, in here so I, I'm not going to use the word name for our variables I'm going to use the identifier so it needs to have an identifier this identifier is uh, it, it actually depends on the programmer you can name it using your own accord now it needs to be followed by a semicolon now in here w when we try to declare a variable we don't usually assign any value a variable is like a container it's it's a storage system inside our program uh, as the name refers variable this uh, uh, storage container can change its value but in certain point uh, or in certain data types it, it it can't change them like strings are immutable in C sharp so you can't really change uh, you can really change the string once you store it inside uh, I inside a single variable now a variable can also be assigned a value so when we assign a value to a single variable we call it initializing that variable now we need to understand this uh, variable declaration and initialization in the context of memory allocation in our uh, computer don't get scared it's really simple and we'll be talking about the most uh, basic part of memory allocation we won't go deep because we don't need to go deep um, our compiler contains the common language runtime which will uh, which uh, holds all the sorts of program 
programming um, sorry for that uh, all sorts of programming to handle every sort of memory allocation but we need to understand the most basic fundamental stuff now a variable when we define a name uh, let's actually create one variable one real variable so according to the format we are going to need a data type so let's create a variable that will return an integer value I hope you remember what an integer is and if you don't remember then let me explain that uh, so uh, an integer is a numeric value or a number that does not contain any decimal or fractional value so I'll repeat that it does not contain any uh, fractional or decimal value it's a whole number it can be negative and it can also be positive now let's um, use int so uh, in C sharp to uh, define the uh, to define the data type for an integer we use the word uh, keyword int now we need to name our variable so let's name this as number one and let's assign the value of 10 now we have got one variable that we uh, with the identifier of number one so this number one as you can see uh, if, if you look at this entire statement uh, statement uh, basically a statement in any programming language is a complete sentence it's like a complete sentence in English but when we talk about an expression it's not a complete sentence uh, just like any English um, language aspect so when we talk about a statement it's a complete sentence in programming so this is a complete st uh, sentence and we'll be calling this a statement now let's look or break it down into more understandable parts now the first thing that we defined here is the data type so this variable can only hold or contain an integer value or an integer number it can't hold any other uh, value it can't hold a fractional value or it can't hold any decimal value um, you need to be aware of that and this integer has a certain memory allocation inside our RAM it can't it 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 has a limitation it can't hold uh, any uh, it can't hold very very large values if you assign them to your variables it it has a certain limitation and we need to uh, follow along that but if we need to store uh, values of numbers that are very large maybe they can be 10,000 1 million they can be even 1 billion then we have other data types for that but we won't be using integer for this now let's understand this so this is the name that I defined uh, for my variable so you can name your one according to your wish and then I can actually keep this uh, sorry for that I can actually keep this without the value in here so let's erase this so now I have got a variable which is called number one now this variable uh, number one it has been created it, it has also been created inside our RAM inside our memory now RAM is actually called the random access memory or it's it's uh, it's in simple terms it's a volatile memory a volatile memory means that your computer can only um, it has got two types of memory one is the ROM and the other one is the RAM now we'll be focusing mostly on the RAM part because we need a volatile memory not a um, memory that will store our uh, everything uh, I mean permanently now in a ROM we when we want to store any sort of data for our permanent purpose or for permanent use we need to use ROM in RAM it only stores data when the computer is running when the computer shuts down it erases off all the data so a variable works with a RAM so uh, as the name suggests it varies now it has got certain allocation in that RAM an integer can actually take up to four bytes now bytes is a measurement of memory in uh, a computers in a computer system like a kg you use to measure a solid 
a liquid is used to measure a, uh, a liquid has a measuring unit sorry for that um liquid has a measuring unit for uh, that is called a liter it it 